dear students let us discuss about the nomenclature there are 1.72 1.8 millions of species described all over the world or universe so they are called their local names based on the regional languages so it need to standardized naming to animals known by the same name all over the world or universe so the process of naming of animals with specific scientific name is called nomenclature the process of naming of animals with a specific scientific name is called nomenclature so this type is done as per guidelines of icjden so icjden abbreviation is international code of zoological nomenclature so it includes two types or two methods one is binomial nomenclature second one is the trinomial nomenclature let us discuss about the binomial nomenclature kerala selenius a swedish botanist he popularized in binomial nomenclature by using it in 10th edition of his book systema naturae so in this type of nomenclature the scientific name consists two components or two words hence it is called a binomial nomenclature by means two so here the scientific name in binomial nomenclature consist two words first word refers to genus second word refers to species genus is a noun species is an adjective genus is a noun and species is an adjective generic name starts with the capital letter and specific name starts with the small letter so all the sci all scientific names are latin or latinized forms they are printed in italic type so we take an example to understand binomial nomenclature so the scientific name of lion is felis leo felis is refers to genus leo refers to species that means felis is the generic name leo is the specific name scientific name of animals sometimes follows the taxonomist name and discovered here also so here felis leo is described by lenius hence we can write the scientific name as felis leo lenius in 1758 we can write taxonomist name as full form or abbreviation also here felis leo or so this is the binomial method after few days lion shifted to the genus panthera hence the scientific name of lion is called as panthera leo so when the lion shifted to the genus panthera the scientific name is considered as the panthera leo so this is also described by the lenius and separates the lion from the genus felis so here we can write scientific name so we mentioned the discord here in the brocket 
So this is the binomial nomenclature method. So second method is trinomial nomenclature. Trinomial nomenclature is the extension of binomial nomenclature. So this nomenclature consists of three worded name. So here genus, species and subspecies are included in the nomenclature. So examples are the homo sapiens and sapiens, corvo splendens and splendens. So homo refers to genus, sapiens refers to species, sapiens refers to subspecies. So here three words are present in the trinominal nomenclature. So here also Carvas is the generic name, splendens is the specific name, splendens is the subspecific name. Next one. Chatonomy, the practice of naming in which the generic and specific names are same is called chatonomy. In this method, genus name and species name both are the same. If we take examples, Naza Naza is the scientific name of cobra and Axis Axis is the scientific name of spotted deer. So, the name in nom binominal nomenclature is called is binomen. The name in trinominal nomenclature is called as trinomen. The name in tatonomy is called tatonym. So, here binominal nomenclature consists of two worded names. First word is genus, second one is species. So, genus is a noun species is an adjective genus name starting with the capital letter and a species name starting with the small letter so these are all in latin or latinized form they are printed in the italic type trinominal nomenclature is the extension of binomial nomenclature it consists of three worded name First one is the genus name, second one is the species name, third one is the subspecies. So here, same as binomial nomenclature, the genus name starts with the capital letter, species starts with the small letter and subspecies starts with the small letter. So these are all Latin or Latinized forms. And they printed in italic type. Examples Homo sapiens sapiens and uh, Carvo splendens splendens etc. Tatonomy is the practice of naming the generic name and uh, species name are same. So here examples are Naza Naza and uh, Axis Axis etc.